Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe and healthy. So with this video, I have brought another episode of one of my top watched playlist. Yes, I'm talking about Ying Yu queries. And in the video, I'm going to cover yet another query that was asked to me. And I think it has been asked to me a lot many times, but I would be covering a video for it so that you can refer to it anytime you need it. And obviously the practical way of seeing it being implemented makes things a lot much easier. So without further ado, let's quickly get started with the video. So I'll show you a query that I've been asked over LinkedIn. So it says, I don't want to loop the data table because 50K plus data in data table. If I loop, it means that it would take much time. So how can we do without doing the looping? So it's a very valid question. If you have data like say, 50 gets too much, even if you have data like 1000, 2000, then also if you look through each row, it may take a lot of time. And also it's obviously not the most suggested approach. So we would be trying to do it in the most efficient way possible without using loops. Obviously, I do not have the data having 50K plus rows. So I've picked up a dummy data, but we would see how we do, how do we implement it without using the loops. And in the similar way, that could be implemented when you have a huge amount of data, say thousand millions of records when you have, obviously looping would take time and it becomes less efficient. So we're gonna do it without loops with the help of link you queries. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, and this was asked to me by this particular person only. So what she wanted to achieve is that over here we see there are rows and we see that in column two, that is column B named as value. There are two rows, the first row and the last row that is having value 10. And we wanted to replace it with a certain value based on some condition. There could be n number of business logic based on which you decide if you have to update any cell or if you have to update multiple cells of the data table containing a large amount of data. Now, what are we going to do over here is that we're gonna replace 10 with a certain number, which means that we will have to find all the rows that have 10 in their second column. So for us, these are the two rows. So you can imagine this thing to be having multiple rows. So we would first filter all the rows having 10 in the second column, and then we're gonna replace this 10 with some other value. So I've just dragged a read range for doing it. Now, there could be two ways of doing it. The first way would be that I'm gonna drag and assign activity. I'm gonna fetch all the rows. Okay. So the first thing, okay, let's go this way that we would first be extracting the first row. Now there could be two scenarios that you have to update the first occurrence of 10 and you have to update all the occurrences of 10. So first we'll go with that if we have to update only the first occurrence of 10, which means there could be hundreds of 10 coming underneath it, but you would be updating only say the first occurrence of it. So let's see how to do that first. Also, let me do the same that I update the same. And then I copy it all here like this. Okay. And let me make some change. Tom, Harvey, Ben. Roy, and then I'm calling short of names. So let's go with ABC. Okay. So our first occurrence would then be the fifth row, which is Dexter. Okay. Now to find where that particular row is, I'm gonna use a simple select query. So this is the DT in which I have read the data and it would be DT.select. So my select query would go with double quotes. In the double quotes, I would write the filter expression, which would be my column name, which is value. And I'm gonna match it saying that, get me the rows that have value 10. So this is my filter expression. Now, once I've got the row, my approach would be, I would like to find the index of this row and then I would directly update this particular index. So I'll go about that, like I'll do first to default. Now this is only gonna give me back a single data row whose index I can find by putting this thing in the braces, DT, which is my initial data table, 
dot rows, which means all the rows of that particular deity, then index of, and then this would already return me a data row. So I would get the index of that particular data row, and I'm gonna store it in index of, which is a variable of type int. So over here, you can see it's a variable of type int. Once I've got my data row, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go again with my initial dt, which is this dt, which I've got after reading the data table, and I'm gonna go around dt.rows. Now out of this row, which particular row I have to filter, I have already got it from index of rows. So I'm gonna pass that index of row. Now, once I have got the data row, now I know which column I have to update. So I have to update the first column. So this is the zeroth column and this is the first column. Now say I want to update this 10 with 100. So I'm gonna go around like this, that I wanna update it as 100. Now, to see the change, what we can do is, I'm gonna drag in a right range. I'm gonna drag in a right range of workbook. And in this same sheet, I'm gonna append it to another sheet so that we can see the difference as well. So I'm gonna go sheet two. Then we have our DT. There we go. I'm gonna create the sheet, save it, close this file. I'm gonna add the headers and we are good to go. We can run it. Before that, we would be running it in debug mode so that we can follow. Okay, so we have got our DT. So if I just open here and see, so Dexter has 10 as of now. Now we're gonna get the index. So the index that we get is three, which is we have found the value 10. So if we go back again to see, it would be zero, one, two, three, okay? Now, now again, if we see our DT, so now Dexter has 100 and not 10. And if we do the right range, we're done. Let's open the file and see. Okay, so this is the initial sheet which has Dexter as 10. Let me just highlight it with a different color so that it's visible. So we have 10, let me also zoom in a bit. And now if we go to sheet two, we have Dexter as 100. So you see how easy it was without having any loops? Okay. Now let's move on to our next thing that if we want to update all the indexes, like all the appearances of 10 with say 100, and how are we gonna do that? So let's just put all these things in common and then get started with if we want to update the multiple occurrences. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna in, drag and invoke code. I'm not gonna write long, long lines of code. It would just be a single line of code. And I'm gonna pass the same DT. The direction would be in and out. Type would be data table and I'm gonna pass the DT. That's it. Now let's go on writing the code. So first of all, we're gonna filter it the way we did previously. So we're gonna get all the rows having the value 10. So it's the same filter expression that we just wrote. So it's with value, wherever the value is 10, we're gonna get all the rows and we're gonna convert it to list. If we do not convert it to list, that would also work because it would then be an array of data rows. Now, when we have the list, we are gonna iterate on the list. Now we're not gonna iterate on 10, 20 rows. Rather, we would only be iterating on the rows that have matched our filter expression. Once we have the rows, now to update it, we're gonna go with this thing. So we have mentioned our row. And with that particular row, what are we gonna do is we would be updating the column value, which is our first column, the one which we have filtered. And we're gonna update it with the value, which would be 100 in our case. That's it. Now I'm gonna close it. We've already got the DT. I think there's an error. 
Okay, end of expression expected. I think yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. I think we're missing out a parenthesis. So this closes this parenthesis, then for each this parenthesis, and we're gonna put another parenthesis. Okay. Oh no, I don't think we need this parenthesis. Okay, this is the mistake. Okay, I think we have a tool. Let's try to save this and the error is gone. And now we're gonna append it in a different sheet so that we are able to see the differences clearly. We're gonna have another sheet over here, which is as of now empty. And we're gonna update that DT with the same thing. And this time we're gonna run it in normal mode because anything that is working inside in both code, you'll not be able to see it in the output pane. So there's no point that we execute it in debug mode, rather we go executing it in run mode. Okay, so the execution has stopped and you can see how fast it is. It is just three seconds. And if I go on opening the sample data, then in sheet three, if you see all the multiple occurrences of 10 has been updated to 100. So sheet one, we have fifth row and ninth row is 10, but now we have fifth row and ninth row is 100. So that's about it. No matter if you have now 50,000 rows, 10,000 rows, 20,000 rows, you can do it with the help of link queries without having to drag a for each row data table and then keep on iterating through each row, which is obviously gonna consume a lot of time and be less efficient. And I hope this answers your queries. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video if you've liked it. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for instant updates. I would soon come back with another interesting video and answering your Q&As. So till then, stay tuned and stay safe. Thanks for watching the video.